Hey everyone, Anthony Fantano here, Internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of this new Shushu album. Shushu plays the music of Twin Peaks. Experimental and post-punk music outfit, Shushu, new album, woo! Wild concept behind it, totally crazy, out of their minds. Do music from the Twin Peaks soundtrack from front to back, that's what this album is. That's what happens here. The Twin Peaks television series, if you didn't know, is a shining moment for director Mr. David Lynch. It is one of the most legendary television series of all time. It was not only groundbreaking, but boundary blurring as well, mixing together elements of soap opera and drama, but also horror and thriller, along with quirks that could have only come from the mind of David Lynch. And the popularity of the television series has kind of resurged in the Netflix era as people have been able to go back and watch, binge watch, the entire series. It's even actually brought a newfound appreciation for the second season where popularity of the series kind of trailed off a little bit and I understand why there are some kind of painfully weird moments and narrative directions in that second season, but it's still kind of enjoyable. Now, Shushu, they have some great records under their belts at this point, and I do enjoy a lot of their cover songs. I know they've covered Joy Division and Rihanna, and one of my favorite records in their discography is a covers album, uh, the album Nina, where they do nothing but Nina Simone covers. I believe I have a copy of that sitting in my record collection. Just imagine it. Imagine in your mind. It's in my record collection. It's sitting there. You've probably seen it before if you've been watching the videos for a long time. I predict that if you use the search bar, the needle drop, Shushu, Nina, Review, it'll pop right up. I really enjoy the reinterpretations of these Nina Simone songs on this record, so obviously Shushu has already proven themselves to have the ability to reinterpret another piece of music very creatively. And I do like the music of Twin Peaks, so it would be interesting to kind of hear that music celebrated and filtered through that... <laughs> <laughs> very strange shushu lens. Which in a way could be a challenge, trying to make a record like that and not have it sound like just a random sporadic array of tracks because there are so many different musical flavors. There are elements of jazz music, of ambient music, of dream pop, and how is shushu going to make all of these sounds come together? And the answer to that question is very well. They make them come together very well. Shushu gives nearly every single track that they cover on this record a horrifically eerie vibe. There is a frightening rendition of the song Falling, which actually opened the show up, if you remember. And Shushu's version is complemented strangely, but also beautifully, with Jamie's very erratic foot. Shushu with these tracks, they really go the distance. They're not like cheating anybody out of an experience on these songs. They're performing five, six, seven minute versions of these tracks. So they're, they're really dedicated here because the entire album is over an hour of material. And yet it just flows so well and every track is so engaging that it doesn't really feel like an hour. It all breezes by pretty quickly in my opinion. Even the very trudging and heavy track dedicated to Laura Palmer, her theme in the show, uh, is so tense. Creating tension in music, that sense of dread. Shushu does it so well on this track, and the iconic piano chord, they just go over so well, and they're complemented with this kind of shocking, like gunshot percussion. The backing instrumentation blossoms really nicely as the composition moves from that dreary passage to the chords really kind of changing flavor into something more, uh, I guess, grand and harmonious, which is something that's always been kind of mysterious to me about this particular song uh, in the Twin Peaks soundtrack, how it sort of goes from cold to warm and heavenly in just a few chord changes is awesome, and Shushu plays through those chord changes really well. One of the dream pop tracks on the record, which had some uh, very easygoing instrumentation that had melodies that were subtly sinister, the track Into the Night goes over really well too. Shushu wraps this track in almost just a hellish drone. There's just a very dark atmosphere to this cut. While the jazz piece, Audrey's Dance, which is really slithering and suspicious, 
kind of has this uh, nightmarish quality added to the already mysterious sound the song has. Much of the original Twin Peaks soundtrack is super mellow, and even though Shushu stays true to a lot of the musical characteristics of these songs, they make them so much more harsh and in-your-face and aggressive. The song Blue Frank, I think Shushu takes maybe the most liberties with. At one time, it was this kind of spacey, low-down, dirty, bluesy rock track, and Shushu's interpretation of the song over here is like a psychedelic noise rock. It's a total fury of wailing guitars. The bass and the backing beat and the chord progression stay pretty true to the song's roots, but just what they do on top of these foundational pieces is just pure mayhem. The song Sycamore Trees, which is pretty infamous for its uh, heavy vibrato on the lead vocals from Jimmy Scott, I believe, is done pretty well too. It sounds like a cut that could have made it off of Shushu's Nina covers album. It has very sparse, simple pianos, and Jamie on top of it with his voice just going completely uh. <laughs> I, I, I love what he does vocally. You know, he's a very eccentric singer, so uh, to me it would take someone like him to come on to a track like this and appreciate how eccentric the vocals are on the original and sort of put his own spin on it, put his own personality into it. And to close the whole thing out, we have the very disturbing Josie's past, which uh, isn't so much about Josie, uh, the character in the show, uh, it's more a drone, kind of an abstract song piece with what sounds like some uh, vocal snippet uh, voiced by somebody who is supposed to be Laura Palmer, or maybe we're hearing something from Laura Palmer's diary. Uh, I'm not totally sure. Maybe it's uh, something to do with the show that I'm not fully aware of. Uh, please enlighten me. I'm not an expert over here. Buh. But essentially on this cut, we have Laura Palmer sort of explaining or going into detail talking about the uh, abuse and the sexual exploitation that she suffered at the hands of this very evil Bob character that we learn about in the show. And what is said here, added to these really tense and sour drones hanging in the background, it's, it's pretty sickening and a very uh, stomach-churning finish to this record. The only thing left I have to say about this record is that I'm just thoroughly impressed with how great it came out. Of course, Shushu couldn't have done this without the great source material, so we have to say thank you and give a shout out to Angelo Badalamenti for composing these fantastic songs. But the liberties that Shushu takes with these tracks, not only do they make them these songs sort of digestible in kind of that full length album sense, but also the, the, the liberties taken are thrilling, they're exciting, they're colorful, they're intense, they're lively, they're animalistic, they're horrifying, they're freaky, and, uh... <laughs> and I think Shushu does a great job of reimagining this music in a way that sort of matches the intensity and the oddity of the Twin Peaks series itself. I'm feeling a strong A to a light 9 on this thing. Transition. Have you given this album a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You the best, you the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like. Watch another review. That's good for you. Shoo shoo. Play some music of Twin Peaks forever.